Hello Flight Simulator fans and welcome back to the channel. Back in Aerofly FS4, a big surprise. And today we are going to be flying, yes, the A380, the British Airways. I downloaded the European Scenery Pack Part 1, 50 gigabytes. Um, uh, but it really gives you quite a bit. So we're going to fly around over across the pond today. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know the areas at all. But everything else should be A-OK. -okay. We know how to fly, right? So we're going to try this A380. You may have noticed some of the planes that were uh, missing from the base version. There is an add-on plane pack you have to buy to get the A380. It also gives you some additional um, aircraft. Not the 320. That's in the, that's in the base. Uh, keep going. Okay, this one is new with the, I believe it's new with the, um, uh, with the aircraft add-on. That's a base plane. That's a base plane. Oh, no, wait a minute. The, I don't think the, I don't think this one is. I don't think the F-18 is. I know the F-15 is in the base unit. Uh, EC-135 is in there. That one. CRJ-900 LR. Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting busy on this one. This is, again, this is in the plane pack, the add-on plane pack. The PF-109E, oh yes, we're going to have to try swooping down on that one. You know how they used to make those, to scare the crap out of you practically, uh, just dive bombing at you. The 787, uh, this one is in the base. Um, 747, yes, 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 you know I love me some 747. Uh, the 737-500, that's in the base unit. And we are landing back on the A380. So let me make sure I have my location set, set and it knows I'm cold and dark. Uh, it kind of sucks they don't have so I guess they do have some right here, but yeah, we'll just taxi from there. Who cares? Uh, I did want to go into some things. So, okay, the plane pack is normally $39.99. It's on sale, I think. Today or tomorrow might be the last day. Uh $33.99 instead of $39.99. So it's not cheap. But a lot of those good jets, if you're into them, you're gonna get you're gonna have to go in there. Um, I did want to mention, so I'm using uh, the Velocity One flight yoke, and I had an issue with my throttle quadrant where um, I went into multi-engine and four engine jet, right? And I set up my throttles with the four powers throttles that are on the throttle quadrant and you see how as soon as i start to move them like you can't see the throttle quadrant here let me let me do this let me, let me just do like that so you can see i i barely move it off of the detent and it would start to travel right well that's how it should work but when i got into the sim uh it was not it was not advancing until 50 percent of the travel I would have to take it way 50% up in the travel before we'd move in the sim. So um, I did go in and find this. I want to show this to everybody because I'm sure it's helpful. Right here, you can go into each one of these and click this right here, and it'll take you through a calibration routine, and that fixed the problem. So <laughs> I don't know why. It just did. So we're good to go. That's the most important thing. The other issue I'm having is that um, I have the same button assigned to all the thrust reversers but only the reversers for engines two and three fire so i don't know maybe the airbus only has two <laughs> uh i don't that could be i don't know I, i'm just saying that's kind of the behavior i'm noticing right now and i haven't tried the boeing planes yet so for today's flight the a380 we're going to be uh flying out of london heathrow and uh here's the gem of a flight i came up with 380 miles so we're going to get to fly all over. This is the scenery area. Look at this scenery. You're getting quite a lot of scenery in there. Again, this this is part of the base package. Um, so lots of nav aids. Uh, real easy. A lot of airports. I mean, this is fantastic. Now, I don't know what part two covers, but it must be pretty significant. Anyway, we're going to have some fun uh, flying around here. So, yeah. Um, and we'll try, we'll try to ILS it. <laughs> uh, it may or may not work out that way. We shall see. So let us go ahead and get this baby started. We were cold and dark, right? Yes. Cause I want to go through this. I was a little shocked. Now, I guess I've never flown the 380 <laughs> because 
I saw this cockpit and my head just about exploded. Um, I was like, what is this? <clears throat> uh, okay, let's go here. And first thing, I don't even like this thing. <laughs> I don't know if everybody flies with it off, but uh, let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and get on external power. And you know how it is, guys. We're going to program our airlines this baby. <clears throat> Take what we know. Try to apply it. Oop. So that should get our... Um, that should fix these. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a test button for the firers. Sweet. Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to turn... My headset is like... It is so loud. Okay, that's good. Sorry if that was annoying for you guys. <laughs> I didn't even think to consider your feelings. That's how it goes around here. So, um, yeah, this is a little bit of a pain just because the panel is so big and there's not really preset views in Aerofly FS2. So you can slide over just a little bit. It does stop you, right? There's a point. Um, and then I have to figure out how to get back <laughs> because otherwise my eye point will be messed up for the whole flight. So here's our batteries. I'm pretty much just doing the, um, you know, make all the white lights go away. So here's our fuel pumps and all of this. We can go over here and we just turn them all so that there's no white lights. Everything is basically turned on. That's a lot of clicking. Um, yeah, so now we're good. We're going to get the APU going. Let's hit that to on. I've had some issues with this one where you'll, you'll click it and it won't register. Now, um, this thing I have not come close to mastering. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, FMS 1. This is good. All right, what's the flight plan? Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Oh, wow. Um, there we go. Now it's stepping through. Okay. Top of descent. We're not flying very high, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and go down. All right, so this is kind of cool, but I mean, it's just basically like um, everything is, I mean, it's set already in here. The one thing you can note is that for takeoff, we're going to have flaps two. Uh, if you set to flaps one and then do the takeoff config, it won't work. Um, it'll say, ah, oh, the, they're not in the right spot. <clears throat> um, and then as, you know, the phase is... You just, these kind of advance automatically. Um, I'm sure you can poke around with them and all of that. Um, wow, let's see. That says out of range for the trim wheel. There we go. Let's set the trim right there. While we're happening to be looking at it. And yeah, we got our flight plan up here, so that's good. And I'm, I think I'm going to go back to the, um, well, let's take a look at these. So... I don't see anything that we have to... So the transition altitude is 70 feet. EO acceleration, 1,079 feet. Uh, yeah, I like, what I, like I know what that means. <laughs> Active fuel load, I don't see anything there. Whoops. Okay, init page. Oh, crap, here we go. Uh, we can go, uh, P, whoop, maybe, maybe I have to click in there first, yes, uh, P, R, G, two, two, zero, and then enter, beautiful, from EGLL to EGLL, okay, pretty nice, trip wind, IRS, wow, lots of stuff in here, guys, I mean, there's, and all of these have menus, and yeah, I mean, there is a lot going on here that I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm just hoping we can do a flight so you guys can see it. <laughs> uh, okay, we got the um, we got the APU started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go off of um, external power. 
Let's hit the APU bleed on. Uh, I'm going to swing back over here now. and hope I get this lined up right. There should be like a, a way to switch it back. but uh, Let's make sure we got good views set for outside. Look at this beast. This thing is a monster. Huge. I want to make sure we got good views for the engines. So when the engines start up, we'll be able to hop out and watch them. <laughs> it's the small things, right? Uh, okay, we are pretty much set to start. Let's hit our beacon on. Let's uh, seat belts and everything. Get everybody on board with us here. Da, 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 ba, 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 da, da. And we have to go to ignition start. that baby on there yep exhaust gas temperature coming up let's hop outside oh she's spinning up here it goes we are almost underway oh there goes a the spirit airlines out of Heathrow I didn't think spirit flew out of there but what do I know I'm a hack Oh, the exterior sounds are very quiet. I wonder if there's like a... Maybe there's a sound setting. No? Not seeing that. Like, I can't even hear it. Okay, now it's starting. So once it finally kicks over, then... It's good to go. All right. Um, oh, I want to make sure, too, that my throttles are... Yes, my throttles are responding correctly. Yes, 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 yes. Um, all right. We've got that engine. Engine 3 is starting to come up. Look at all of that undercarriage. That thing is ridiculous. I hope we can do this. I would hate to have to record this video like three times. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get engine two going. We could probably start them all at once, but... And there it goes. Starting to spin up. Very nice. Let's go ahead and continue with our setup here for takeoff um, let's see we can uh, how do I put it back now okay standard yep that's that and 2992 that's the way I like to see it and let's pull this bad boy out let's get our altitude set initial altitude will set 6,000 and uh, we'll cross the speed bridge when we get to it Very nice. Let's get engine one going. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Programmer Airlines, like, subscribe. Lots of Aerofly content here. Some of it good. Some of it not so good. All right, what do we got? We got parking brake, APU bleed, seat belts, no mobile. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and set flaps too. Oh, I wanted to mention too. Check out what I got today. Yeah. I'll be doing some. I got the I got the add-on pieces for it too that go on the other sides that has the the flap selector and then the speed brake and some other controls down on the bottom, uh, like the parking brake and all of that. So as soon as I can get that, that comes tomorrow, um, and that's a two-engine thing. So I'll probably fly the 320 with that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to give that a try.
especially now that it's been out for a while. Hopefully they will have worked out some of the kinks. Uh, okay, we can go back to uh, turning that from ignition to normal. Uh, let's take a look. Cabin ready, APU bleed is on. We don't need that anymore. We need to arm the spoilers right there. Lift up on that bad boy. Uh, auto brake to RTO. You have to press that button right there. Um, and let's test the takeoff config. Right there. All right, takeoff config norm. We are pretty much ready to go. I'm actually kind of dreading this. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta get my feet in the pedals for this one. This one's gonna be... I, it's probably just different in my mind, right? No, it's totally different. This thing is a monster. This thing is beast compared to the 320. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of that. And... Um, oh, yeah, where did we... Um, oh, we gotta, where in the hell am I taxiing to? Uh, we had to go nine... Oh, we were going to have to travel, weren't we? Oh, I think it's over there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are we? Oh, no, we're facing nine. Fuck on it. This is a bit of a bummer. Okay, there's our airport. So, yeah, we just got to turn around. We got to come out and kind of turn around here. So, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to just taxi with two engines. Oh, that's so much better. I have seriously only done startup, uh, uh, like, twice. Um, I did one flight that was a pattern around this. And that's all the flying, and it was not pretty. I, I recorded it because I thought, oh, this might be a nice little piece of content. No, it was, it was not a nice little piece of content. It was not. I want to make sure. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. She taxis nice. I don't know. You guys think we got what it takes? Using tiny little adjustments on my throttle here. Got a pretty good taxi going on. I don't want to dork it up. <laughs> Watch this be the wrong runway. It's impossible, right? Well, it could happen. I can't see the runway sign. Whoa. Getting off kilter here. Let's get back in here and get under control. Okay, like, I'm actually going to put the throttles back, and I bet we just sit here and roll. a lot of taxiing. Yeah, let's see. We have to remember to set our uh, runway heading and all of that. Although, although we're, I think we're pretty close. It says 9-2, so. Airport sign. Runway sign. Anybody? Probably not supposed to be out here. 
Damn, that thing is huge too. Put on the brakes just a little bit. Beautiful. That thing is... Oh. oh, now what is happening? Why is there AI aircraft? I'm about to turn off the AI aircraft. Well, nine left. This is a monster airport, jeez. All kinds of giant jets. And the runways, honestly, for this plane, it's not very big. <laughs> I learned that when I was landing, landed on my test flight. Yeah, this is exciting right here. That low rumble of the engines inside the cockpit is stellar. Yeah, we better apply the brakes early in a beast like this. Runway ahead. I like that marking. <laughs> Nine left. Woohoo! Admit it, none of you thought I would even get here. You thought we'd be over on the other side of the airport. <laughs> Let's get nice and lined up here. All AI aircrafts. Honestly, they don't add that much to the experience for me. I guess it's kind of nice to see them. Uh, we'll just start back here. Who cares? We're good. Uh, okay, what is our... Oh, yeah, we're, we're pretty doggone close, aren't we? All right, we're set there. <clears throat> uh, we got our flaps set. I mean, we're ready for takeoff, so no sense in fiddle farting around. Let's get this bad boy off the ground. Oh, man, moving all of those throttles at once is like, what? Okay, we'll get a nice roll going on. And then we go toga. Toga, toga. Hundred twenty knots. V one. Rotate. Positive rate. Landing gear up. And bring that nose down just a little bit. Lever climb. I think 
think I got everything in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go back into manage mode here. We'll fly the departure. Yeah, we're good enough to hit on the autopilot here. Very, very good. Managed speed mode. I don't know if I like that. And let's go ahead and bring up, take out some of those flaps. Now, why do we have the APU bleed on? Eh, we could turn off the, turn off the APU. We seem to be a little strangely off the flight plan, unless it's moving to intercept. Um, not sure. We'll see about that. I don't know how to do a direct two, so if for some reason this thing starts to misbehave, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, we hit our 6,000 feet. There we go, it's picking up the flight plan, very good. Look at that city, holy cow. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to do a takeoff. I keep forgetting to do takeoff reviews and takeoffs are awesome, especially in this bad boy, right? So here we go. Let's get on out of here, let's like this. Oh man, hold on, I wanna see the airport in the background. Oh, oh arrow fly. Very nice. You can see I'm having to work that rudder just a little bit. Wow, I'm gonna have to be a little gentler <laughs> on that yoke when we're taking off, because wow. Really popped up in the air in no time. Look at that. Oh, you are so delicious. Too good for your own good, Aerofly. Too beautiful for your own good. Okay, I'm gonna. And we can just. Okay, back to the action. Look at this city, man. This is huge. Uh, let's see, we're at 6,000. Let's go dial in 11,000. I don't know why. It says decelerate. Never seen that before. Got everybody in climb, right? Yeah. go transition altitude is 7,000 feet it's strange <laughs> that doesn't seem quite right I'm not decelerating dude I'm accelerating what are you talking about decelerate there's no way we bring this thing back <laughs> no no way we bring that back in one piece Oh, holy cow. Very nice. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. We'll make that our screenshot for the thumbnail. Okay. And we are well on our way here. Let's uh, take a look at our flight plan. Very 
good. Yeah, we have a huge easy stretch into our final into our final approach. No problems like we had the other night during the live stream where I had to circle around two times to lose altitude. <laughs> Programmer airlines. Let's do a quick check here. Oh good, we don't have to do you know do anything with our landing lights here. Let's turn all of our cool lights on here. Yeah, we can have can let people uh, move about the cabin, kind of relax and enjoy themselves while we fly. I've got a lot of reading to do on this one, oh, for Pete's sake. This flashing down here was killing me. Yeah, we can have the ground spoilers on. That doesn't matter. Now let's take our range out a little bit. Yep, we are good to go. This is nice. We're going to get a, a real tour of London. This is London, right? <laughs> I am completely ignorant of over the Atlantic. I mean, I spent six years in the Navy, four of them were over in the Pacific, so I know that region a little bit better. But. Nice. Doggone it, we missed some landmarks. That looks like some kind of a big stadium. Very nice. Great scenery. I mean, it's super flat. I see, I'm thinking these textures should be higher resolution. Like, this does not look very good. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. I love frame rate, so I'll take frame rate over, you know, pretty graphics every day. I don't know, I think I've just kind of been spoiled by Flight Simulator. This is odd. Chum chum. Must be a visibility range thing there. All right, what does this do for us? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> oh, okay, so it just lets you kind of see where you're going without having to look down. Gives you all your information in one spot. Probably handy during landings. This is pretty good. Yeah, I can't wait to check out this. I can't wait to check this bad boy out. Hold on, let's do an unboxing while we're flying. I don't have to pay attention when I fly. It's just, you know, ah, we're an autopilot. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I do like this, but it's kind of static. Oh, that's not even the right airport. <laughs> I wonder if you can, like, program that to be a particular thing. Hmm. I'm going to have to look at all this stuff. I don't know what any of this does. Anyway, if you were wanting to see the 380, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hit the like and subscribe. Share the video out somewhere if you can. Post it over on Reddit, on the Flight Sim forums, or somewhere else. I can't do it. I did do that when I first started my channel, and then they like warned me and said, you can't just, you just can't do that. <laughs> All right, what do we got in the box here? Okay. All right. All right. So we've got some instructions. It's very light. Look at this, a flight and an unboxing. Ah, uh, USB-C. So that's kind of interesting. It's funny, it's a Type A on one side. It has stickers for engines one through four, but I don't understand that because there are only two knobs on it. Maybe 
maybe they want you to buy two so you can fly the A380 <laughs> and put them side by side and then you could use these stickers like they're stickers that say engines one one through four and I'm not sure how I'm going to use that so uh, I don't know how helpful that is for me we still flying here everything looking good yep we're settled in at 11,000 very very nice we could probably speed this up right the decelerate message went away yeah better keep an eye on my flight plan yeah BCN you see we've got 67 miles 62 miles right so right in here SW, SMB we're gonna start getting configured we're gonna get our altitude down <laughs> yeah those engines you can hear them they definitely kicked up in sound man and we are I don't even see the tape yet indicating max speed so Let's at least leave it where we can see it. <laughs> All right, so we got a, I don't know, a type A to USB-C thing here. I do have a USB-C on my computer, so that's good. Got the unit itself. Oh, this thing is sweet. Oh, I like this really like these thrust reversers those are gonna make doing the landing part so much easier switches feel pretty good um, you know I mean you guys there's a 800 videos of this online and I see two buttons here and I'm wondering if you could use those for three and four um, I mean you can still only control two at a time but it has a weird three and four switch on the bottom as well I don't know if you can see that or not, but so I don't know what that's for. I gotta figure. Oh, it, it is. You're supposed to buy two of these damn things. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like a hundred dollars, man. I'll just be flying a lot of the A320. Okay, there's a bunch of there's like hardware in here. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, I think this is the mounting hardware for when I my sides come tomorrow. I mount them on the side there. So, okay, that's good. Well, it's a, it looks like a pretty simple package. I'm kind of bummed that I won't be able to fly the A380 with it. But you guys probably couldn't hear any of that, could you? I was busy talking away from the camera. Let's hop outside. Going into some clouds. I like being inside for the clouds and Aerofly. See, I love the way they just kind of... I don't think it's as good as Flight Simulator, but it's pretty good. I think it's better than X-Plane. I'm getting some kind of reflection from the sun coming through. That is sweet. The lighting is good. There we go. I mean, hey, let's uh, let's do something real quick. Don't forget, when you're flying and you hop into the menu, it uh, erases your memory here. Um, uh, where are the general views? Where's the landmarks? Navigation, no. Light sound, communication, simulation, landmarks. Oh, L has the landmarks. I don't know why it's not been working for me. Okay, well. I mean, is it possible there are no landmarks? I think it would it should at least show you the cities and stuff. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Eh, oh well. We tried. Oh, we're finally close on our speed tape here. What's our speed? 
Oh, 370 knots ground speed. 369. That's fast. What do we got here? We're getting coming up on MAM. I think from MAM we go to TNT. I was like, we got to get TNT on the route. Oh, look at that. I wonder if I can do... Look, there's a direct to button. I wonder if you can pick it and say go direct to that. I'm not going to mess this up because I think we're going to be able to do this and I want to have a successful flight for the A380 on the channel. And uh, this would be a good one for a stream to do a long, you know, a real long flight. So we can uh, declutter. There we go. Ooh, what about traffic? Oh, that reminds me. Did we turn the TCAS on? I don't think we did. I don't know how most of these systems work. Let's see if we could have it display the weather, but it's pretty beautiful, so... Oh, it looks like you get traffic or the weather. What is this cool little graph down here? Flight level... Okay, so it's just a little piece of showing we're at 11,000 feet. 20 miles to see. I like that. TNT, 60 miles to TNT. That can help me slow down appropriately. Oh, I think it's so great they got the 747 in here. I love me some 747. I don't know. I kind of like Boeing. Like, I've always had a thing for Boeing, but just like Airbus is so good to fly. Like, it's so awesome. what this has for our speeds if it's got it okay so it's showing 290 let's do this let's uh let's go into managed no okay there it goes okay yeah it's gonna slow down but um now this this has to have vnav on it too where's my vnav buttons Speed, taxi. Hmm. I know this has to have VNAV in it, so. I suppose we could just go into manage mode and let it do it. Yeah, this was the one I couldn't get to switch the other day. You pull it out, um, and it, you know kind of let you set it but I, I would think I could click it in and it would go back into the manage mode so I don't know I'm a hack yeah guys we're not far man we ate up some miles in this thing 45 minutes of flying and a whole bunch of that I mean we got some long stretches here but it ain't that long I'm getting nervous already I'm like, slow down! You guys are like, no, it's too early, programmer. L, turn on the landmarks. Why are you not showing me anything? Show me all these cities. You got anything interesting down there? I don't see anything of note. Smattering of homes and businesses, it looks like. Oh, this looks like it got a little smoother from the last time I saw it. I mean, there's... I mean, it looks like there's some graduations. It doesn't seem to be completely following the edge of the terrain. I mean, it kind of does, but, like, not right there, right? It looks... So they're working on that. That looks good. Appreciate that. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a pretty plane, that's for sure. We having fun. I gotta turn this down, man. God, that's loud. It's loud in my headset. All right, so we're at the 290. It's doing its own thing. I'm just gonna worry about altitude. Let me see how this speed pans out throughout the landing. Oh shit, no, no, this isn't good. Oh, there's the top of descent at Beacon. Bacon, we can call it Bacon. So it goes real quick. Well, that's actually, is that 67 miles? <laughs> 33 miles from the top of descent. Oh, but that's the runway. So yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be, I'm not ready to fly with the, oh, sorry, that one's okay. I'm not ready to fly with that in auto yet. <laughs> oh, let's check. Um, what's our fuel doing? I bet we have a ton of fuel in this monster. Fuel. Let's see. We got... Damn. Okay, so this is the fuel flow. And this is the total right here. Landing elevation 80 feet. Gross weight, gross weight, center of gravity, CG, I don't know what that is. And fuel on board, 127,000, okay. <clears throat> I don't know if that would have had to go in the flight plan or not. Wow, look at this, this is awesome. This would take me forever to learn how to fly this plane. And it's the simplified, ver like, right, this is the Aerofly version. <laughs> I can't imagine. Is there some hardcore A380 out there for the, um, for, like, X-Plane? Or maybe flight, I doubt for Flight Simulator, just because I, I don't know, I just doubt it. But We are looking good. I am going to go grab something to drink real quick. Not a liquid beverage that I would normally consume, but a um, a clear, watery beverage that tastes like water and is water. <laughs> uh, I'll leave you guys with the plane. Let me hop outside. Oh, yeah. I will be right back. All right, and we're back. I had my seat just right, and now it's messed up. Yeah, man, I got pretty tore up on that stream the other night. <clears throat> Put down a bottle of wine during that. That's why the ending was so bad. Actually, the landing worked out really good. That is some muddy, that is some muddy textures, guys. I'm sorry. I love Aerofly, but I guess they got to do what they got to do to keep the file sizes down, and I don't know. The planes fly good. I'm definitely enjoying the, uh, the experience here. Man, the channel has gotten so many. I actually stopped hemorrhaging subscribers. We got some positive traction on subscribers, so that's good. I'm just seeing if there's any comments. Nope, no comments today. But, the, the, I mean, my views, you know, you guys know how it's been around here. There's been 100 views, you know, 200 views on a video if it does real good. Well... Uh, one of them's over 3,000 in a, like a day and a half. <laughs> uh, my A320 flight. So I'm sure that this video, if we can, especially if we can pull off this landing, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good one. The A380 in London with an ILS autopilot landing. That's that's views in the bank.
I gotta admit, I'm not a super fan of my desk. It's great for work, and when I'm not playing Flight Simulator, but... Yeah. Distance. Interesting, it didn't update any times. So that's kind of interesting. Um, kind of a small minor thing there. Okay, we're activating TNT, 43 miles. Yeah, and then we got some good legs coming up, so I, I'm not concerned. We're gonna we're gonna be fine. We're gonna have a great flight. Let's hop out of here. And have a great rest of the flight. It's gonna be a great landing. There's a runway. L. It's just not doing anything. Maybe they didn't program any landmarks around here, although um, I don't remember it working in the U.S. either. That's a nice little airport. Lots of activity around here. Let's uh, bring up our moving map. Five miles, man. Uh, I like this one better. Damn, look at all that AI traffic. Keep that right about there. Very nice. Man, we are just chilling. Yeah, I can't wait to hook this thing. Oh, it's got a little toga button on the side. Hmm. Be careful not to squeeze those together. That is really cool. You can't accidentally slip back into the reverser position. Uh, it locks. You can do like that. Or I think you can turn this thing, and then that basically. No, that's not right. um, I think you do it like this. And then you stay. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. <laughs> These little switches are real cute. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could have one side to one and two, and one side to three and four. I mean, I don't know that I'm buying another one of those. I do like flying this plane, though. I could get used to this. You should see it on landing. On my test flight, I just did a pattern around the airport. It was so heavy. Like, it would barely want to turn, and once you got, if you was out of position, I mean, at, at London Heathrow, that's got narrow runways for a beast like this. Uh, it was, um, it was not a pretty landing. <laughs> I mean, I made it, but yeah, it wasn't good. I'm not, I'm not publishing that video. You guys, you guys only get to see my best. Isn't that sad? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we're at 250 knots. I don't know. This says we're 66 miles from CF9L. Now I'm just reading these, I must be reading these distances wrong because it says distance 36. Uh, but at any rate, we need to be like way slowed down by the time we get there. I mean, we got, we got miles yet. <clears throat> um, but. Yeah, um, I'm getting us down to 4,000. We're at 4,600 feet right now, so we're doing good. Good at getting down on time. I'm gonna get comfortable here in my chair because I'm gonna got dog on it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna take the arms off of this chair. I don't want to put my feet in the rudder pedals just yet. That seems a little too much like work. Uh, 
uh, let's see, we got 62 miles to there, and then we have eight miles, well, four miles, then, okay, yeah, eight miles after that, so. We need to be pretty well set up by the time we get to, by the time this 60 miles runs out. I'm just trying to make sure, guys, because I mess things up all the time, and then we have a bad landing, and it's all my fault. It's always my fault, because I'm the pilot, right? Duh. It'll be a minute. I'll bring you guys back in shortly. Okay, Flight Simulator fans, here we go. So I brought down our heads-up display, and this is actually kind of nice. It says 45 miles, and that is actually to the runway. Because you can see to our next waypoint is 36 miles. So this is really nice. This tells us, you know, we need to start, you know, it's time to start wrapping things up here, right? I'm going to slow down. 40 miles goes by freaking quick. Uh, I mean, we won't be going 170 knots or nothing, but... It's time to put some flaps in, start getting slowed down, and have a nice, nice approach. Damn, I can't read those. I need to bump up to a higher resolution. 222. Once we're below that, we should be able to get some, get some flaps in there. All right, we need to start getting stuff. Uh, let's uh, get everybody back in their seats. Let's see, runway turn off, camera wing. Uh, we can get the landing light. No, we don't have to. Ah, we can get it ready. Why not? Engine's coming back up. We're 40 miles from the landing. right about here for a little while I feel pretty good although we don't have any ILS or anything coming in yet now granted it's 38 miles away <laughs> I don't think ILS is that long I like this little graph kind of giving you an you know an expected flight profile we're well below it <laughs> approve programmer airlines like subscribe guys here we go gonna make us or break us here I gotta take this arm off of this chair <clears throat> and 36 miles 27 miles to CF 90 L I guess that's just like an intersection or something. It is exciting for landing after doing all the flying and then you're like, oh, it's time to bring it down. It's like the whole flight could be for nothing. Even though you had the experience of flying it. Ground spoilers are armed. Let's go ahead and we'll set uh, braking thought it would light up here. I set the auto brake. Guess not. This would be rejected takeoff. Thirty one miles. Can't wait for the ILS to come in over this, over this heads-up display and <laughs> uh, guide me to the promised land. Place your bets. Does he land good? Does he land bad? Does he crash? 
Anything can happen, guys. I drank up all my water. I'm getting a sore throat. I think I might be getting sick. I kind of have a little pain in my ears, you know? Like things are, you know, when you, in your neck, like everything starts to kind of like, you get your, your lip nodes get swollen from getting sick. And you're like, ugh. My ears start to hurt, get pressure in them. This is the beginning of the end. Probably got the Rona from somewhere. 26 miles. Come on, baby. Okay, looks like we got a localizer. Now, there is a little bit of a turn, it looks like. I don't know about that. Five miles. Like it doesn't look like we're very much in the center. <laughs> Suppose we could go into low capture mode. And it's not ready for that. Three miles, looking good, looking good. The loudspeaker. Ooh, I wonder if this is. Oh, nice! I do kind of like to be able to see the terrain back behind it, so I don't want it to be too bright. That's probably pretty good. I like that. There's a button that does something. <laughs> There's a lot of those. Looks like we got about eight miles. Looks like there's a little jog in our path here. We got about eight miles to to the landing point there. I'm probably gonna take us down to 3,500. Just because I feel like we're not gonna pick up this until we're. I don't think we're gonna pick up the localizer until we're pretty close. Brake two. Is it using the speed brake? Oh, that's this. There it goes. That's your auto braking set. Okay. It's like, yeah. There's another thing I gotta read up on. Hey, right, we're still okay. It looks like that's our uh, glide slope. I mean, we're probably, airport's probably right up in here. Probably right here, right? <laughs> like, doesn't it seem like we're pretty close? Yeah, this is going to be exciting, guys. I'm glad I got prepared early. I've got the runway. Well, we're still 12 miles out. I don't want to fly with the landing gear down for 12 miles. That does not look like 12 freaking miles. That's all I'm saying. Oh, see, we're starting to come up on our dam, on our glide slope.
go down 2,500. I'm going to have to work my approaches a little bit better. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Still in low capture mode. Oh yeah, it's coming over. Nine miles out, ten miles out. Localizer's gonna gonna grab. There we go. Low captured. That's right. Come on, beast. Make the turn. Got full flaps. Gear down. Approach mode. Oh man, we got that in the nick of time. We got all green on landing gear. And it looks like it's trying to keep up. We got our flaps max. Flaps are full. pretty cool <laughs> aiming is just slightly off to the right there I guess I mean I don't know it doesn't look like there's much wind I mean I didn't set any wind there might be some wind by default I don't know we're descending at 800 feet per minute so that looks good Sixteen hundred feet. I need to assign an autopilot disconnect button. That's what I need to do, so I don't have to hit this switch. I can just hit a button. This is awesome. Oh, oh, how crazy is he? Oh, look at that! I'm turning off AI aircraft. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Kitty, no. Oh, no. Here comes the cat. Kitty, this is a bad time. Actually, you couldn't pick... You couldn't pick a worse time. Don't. Oh, my God. She's coming over. She's going to crash the whole thing. <laughs> Kitty, don't. Kitty, don't. Don't. Come on. Move, move, move. Thank you, sweetie. Well set. I guess all I have to do is keep that circle right there. Hundred above. Hundred above. Push it down. Push it down. Minimum. Okay. Goddamn. Shut up, dude. Three hundred. Stay on there, baby. One hundred. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. I don't know when this thing was planning on telling me 30, to drop the power, but damn. Twenty. Retard. Retard. Five. We're down. So there's our reversers only working on two engines. But maybe that's all it's got. It seems to be slowing down. Oh my God, Kitty. Okay, we're, wow, we're way below. <laughs> and here we go. We have arrived. Welcome back. Wow, that was pretty cool. Now, before we do anything, let's uh, clear the runway and come to a stop here. 
We'll take a pause. We'll take a look at that landing. I, it was holding us up there. It didn't tell me to bring the power back. It was not maintaining the power very well, I don't think. Um, you know, through the auto thrust. But um, still pretty cool. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Dude, that was badass. That thing was solid as a brick shit house coming down. I mean, it was telling me to flare, but then it, it, it's increasing the engines. So I don't know what the I don't know what the auto thrust was doing there. There's an issue. Nice. I don't know why the brakes are screaming. I mean, I wasn't on the brakes. Beautiful. But you know we're not just leaving it at that. I mean, we're not leaving it just at that view, right? Oh, I hadn't seen this view. 300. Hey, we earned this. We earned these replays. Nice. That is badass. 100. 70. 60. 50. 40. 30. It's a damn good thing. I cut off when I did. I cut the power off when I did. Sweet. Hey, we're not gonna leave it there. We're not gonna. We're not gonna leave it there. We're not gonna leave it with. No, no, no. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Two hundred. One hundred, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, thirty, twenty. Retard, retard. Five. Beautiful. Right, and there's just oh crap there's just one more I want to see nope it's not that one there we go like the tower view look at that beast I did have to push forward on the yoke to keep the nose down so that it would land. Look at that. See? And it, the whole time it was telling me flare, but it was the auto thrust. I, get, I don't know. I got to learn to cut that off or just do my throttles off earlier manually. Very nice. Damn. We did, we did that good, guys. We did that good. I, di I did it good because you guys were watching. That was incredible. Beautiful. And we burned up the uh, reversers. Maintenance guys are going to be real happy with that, I'm sure. Okay, let's get ourselves over to a gate here. That is sweet. Oh, so delicious. Very nice. Very nice. Whoop. go okay let's uh oh, the ground spoilers had popped up let's get our flaps up 
and let's go ahead and just taxi up ahead here do ourselves a shutdown let's go ahead and get the APU going so as people are deplaning they can have some kind of uh, some kind of air Just pick one of these easy to get to gates. What was that? If you have a phone that sounds like that, it was not your phone. That was my phone. <laughs> it beeped and there's nothing. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, well, these gates aren't ready. Like I don't see anywhere to park. Easy does it now. Just taxi on over here a little bit. A380 coming through. Clear out. There we go. We got some gates over here somewhere. I mean, the way they had us backed into a spot when we first started to flight, man, that was pretty cool. I suppose I could just leave my plane out and they'll just back it into a spot somewhere. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're Programmer Airlines, and we said, look, we tried to find a parking spot. It's not our fault that there wasn't one um, real nearby, so we just had to park it and leave it. Oh! <laughs> what the hell was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, it, it's gonna count that as a crash. I don't know what I hit. I can't I can't move my view. There we go. What did I hit? I'm locked in. It's not re it's gonna restart. I set it to I hit the I hit the pole. All of that flight. And now I ruin it with that. I set it to like 55 seconds to reset, so. That's why we're sitting here right now. I guess we don't have to do a shutdown. <laughs> I was just trying to get over here. Damn. Um, hang on here. Hang on here. Oh, it reset. Damn. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for the video. <laughs> Sorry about that ending, but hey, we got the land again in the whole flight. That's the important thing. I hope you enjoyed the A380. Like and subscribe. Keep your eye on the channel. Leave your flight ideas down below. You know, get this video out there so uh, we get tons of views and more subscribers, and that way I can make more content. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.